Hi, honey. Hey. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm Jim. I'm Rinda. We're Hardiness Approach. And we are here to do Grow Your Supplements today. Yes. But before we do, nah, just hold on. When you're all done learning about growing your supplements, we'll just bring you up to date on a few things in our life. Okay. What do we got here? Well, today we're going to talk about vitamin D. Ooh. But you can't talk about vitamin D without talking about calcium. Because calcium requires vitamin D. And for all of you who have taken those big calcium pills all your life, you know the new studies say that you get so much more out of your calcium if you eat your calcium than if you take your supplements in a pill. So the only thing on here that isn't just, that isn't vitamin D, and this probably has some vitamin D in it, is spinach. Did you know that spinach has calcium in it? <laughs> We, I thought calcium was white. We think about milk. Oh, I need to eat milk and ice cream and cheese and all of that. And cottage cheese and yogurt. And you do. But there's some greens involved too. And I just wanted to make sure that you knew that s spinach is a really, really good source of calcium. So in order for calcium to get into your body, it requires vitamin D. You have to eat it first, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to move that over here. Where do we think we get so vitamin D from? So calcium and vitamin D go together. So vitamin D is like an activator. It makes the calcium actually get used. Yep. Okay, I it's get it. Into the body. I get it. So you're seeing here milk. I'm like super embarrassed to be showing milk from the grocery store. We're looking for a good source oh! here. Nevada is not like where else we've been where but raw milk is available. Not here. This is no hormones, no growth hormones, da 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 da, whatever. It's pasteurized and for, so for me it's taboo, but it's all we can get right now. So I did buy a bunch of coconut milk. But vitamin D milk, whole milk. So is this like an advertisement? If if you are in the Elko area and you know sources of raw milk, or, even or if how it's we goat can, milk, <laughs> how we can make it happen, we're really interested in that. There you go. Cheese. So I got my little grater out and I did cheese. This cheese is from Walmart. Now it doesn't mean it's the best, most incredible cheese in the world, but it's organic. They carry two kinds of organic cheese, uh, three actually, because they carry one in the slices, Kobe Jack and a Sharp. And it's really good cheese and it's very affordable. So if you can't go to the, um, what is it? The fancy deli part and get all the $6 a pound cheese or $12 a pound cheese, this is really good. So try that. It tastes really good too. I've never had that before. Yes, you have. Oh. <laughs> Eggs is an amazing source of vitamin D. The only thing I don't have on here that's a really good source is calf liver, cow liver. And I don't have it on here right now. No, you don't. So these are sardines. Now, look a little bit processed to me. They're okay. Um, guess who introduced me to sardines? I already know. Tell me. No, Tell them. No, no. They're going to have to guess. No, no. It Th starts with a D and an S. <laughs> where, where, where did we, we learn about what we, what we learned from Doug and Stacy is the that Oregon. they travel a lot. Yeah. And when they're traveling, they want to eat right. And the only way they can be sure they can eat right is to take it with them. So they take their own salts. And Stacy takes a lot of sardines, or at least she used to, probably still probably does. Probably still does. Because it's one way that she can get the fish that she needs. And she buys sardines that have the, the least amount of processing that's happened and things taken out and things put in so that she has a healthy source of the, the vitamins and minerals that she gets from fish and that ballot omega-6 omega-3 balance that you need. So this is um, Henry's and Lisa's. It's wild sardines. It's BPA free can. 
It's a good source of omega-3 and anyway, I had never tried them. In fact, the first time I bought them, I kept them in my cupboard for almost a year. And then I decided, Stacy uses them, I'm going to use them. What she does is she takes a salad with them and then she just opens the can and pours, puts them out on top of it. I like this better than tuna. I do too. It's I do too. good. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. So now I buy it every week and we can throw it in the car and throw it on crackers or whatever we have. Really good source of omega-3 and vitamin D. Which you need for your calcium so that you actually can take advantage of it. Right. Okay. Tuna. I am so excited for this tuna that I have been finding. It's wild caught tuna. It's safe catch tuna so that it's uh, sustainably wild caught. Um, pure tuna, 100% tested, and it has more omega-3s than whatever. They, this one is seasoned with garlic and herbs, and this one is regular. It's the lowest mercury of any brand, and it's great for athletes, kids, and pregnant women. Now, once again... I am not any of those. Once again, this is a bit of a compromise. We can't go catch our own salmon. We can't go catch our... It, it's just... We don't have a quick access to it, so we're we're looking for the best kind of options. And in the case of this tuna, it's what Additive we have to free do. and BPA free, so it's called Safe Catch, and we we really enjoy it. This is okay. What do we think of vitamin D? We always think of the sunshine. The sun. The sunshine. But you're supposed to wear sunblock. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the problem. When you don't go out in the sun because you have a lot of clouds, like now, all over the nation, <laughs> unless you're one of the lucky ones who are having sun. I don't know who you are. <laughs> California, maybe. Um, then you're not getting the vitamin D you need. And when we do go out in the summer, we put on a hat, we wear long sleeves, we wear sunblock, and we're to, not getting the to vitamin D. To protect ourselves from the sun. Absolutely. Which, I mean, too much is a bad thing, but you need some. So how much? A little. 10 minutes to 30 minutes. Okay. And then put that sun, that stuff back on you. Okay. We, so I'm going to, I should never ask you a question. You should I just never ask me a question. should never ask a question. So is this like noonday sun? Early morning sun, afternoon sun, when I we're doing that 10 minutes? I think it's sun when you can find it. Sun when you can find it. Because it makes you feel good. We have a story about needing sunshine. You were going to tell this story. Oh, is this, the, <laughs> is this the time for me to tell the story? A few years ago, when we were living in Colorado Springs during the winter, there was an extended period of time. Kind of like now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where every day it was a little bit snowy, but definitely foggy. It was that winter fog. So totally overcast, but foggy so that you couldn't see very far. So, you know, you take the gray on top of you where you never see the sun, but you enclose yourself to where you can't see hardly across the street through the fog. And it went on for days. And for somebody from Colorado who is used to over 300 days with sunshine, it was challenging. And we were going crazy. And so was our daughter-in-law. So was our daughter-in-law. Yeah, it, was, it was just a rough time to be in Colorado. I mean, you don't expect that in Colorado. So we said, we've got to find the sun. It's got to be here somewhere. So we went for a drive. We actually went a little bit south. And then we went up. Inter not interstate, but Highway 50, the famous Highway 50 yes. that goes through the Arkansas Arkansas, Arkansas Canyon, oh. there was where the Arkansas River comes through. And we got a little ways up the canyon, and the fog was gone. The clouds started dissipating. Before you know it, we had blue skies and sunshine. It so was great. We took our camera and we looked up like this and we took a picture of the clouds parting in the sun and we sent it to our daughter in law and we were like, we found it! The sun is still there. <laughs> It'll be back again. So you know how good you feel in the sunshine. There's a reason for There's that. There's a song about that. What? Sunshine on, on my, my shoulders, shoulders makes, makes me, me happy. happy. <laughs>
It's true. We, um... We, we dare not sing the song they'll demonetize us. <laughs> but you can hum it. That's okay. They won't demonetize it if you hum it. Or you can play it in the background while you're listening. Anyway, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Sunshine makes you I happy. I went off script. <laughs> There's no script. <laughs> Sunshine does make you happy. It actually helps serotonin increase in your body. And so vitamin D makes you happy. And so you need to get out there and skip and run around. So in the vitamin sunshine. D seems like a good thing. It it's makes such you a happy, fun thing. it gets you going, and yeah. it takes your calcium and puts it to work yes. building strong bones and other parts of your body. Yes, we need it. What else does calcium do? Just bones. Osteoporosis. Oh, okay. Oh, it does other things. How yeah. heart, heart, yeah. heart tell. Okay. All right, we saved the best for last. We have a bunch of wild caught now, salmon. Now, I wish I had caught them, <laughs> but there's not a lot of salmon nearby. This is actually from our butcher box that we have. and um, But it reminds me of catching It reminds them. of when we caught uh. it in Oregon, yes. This is wild caught salmon. And I just want to tell you, if you're a, an adult male, you need to go fishing <laughs> <laughs> a thousand milligrams or units units i think that's in units of vitamin d a day best acquired by catching your own fish <laughs> but sometimes you can't do that a woman needs it needs about 1200 um men when they're over 70 they need seven twelve hundred so Salmon, like a piece like this, gives you 900 and some amount, over 900, if it's wild caught salmon. And this is the vitamin D. Vitamin D. If it's farm. And that's not all it has, it has other things yeah, in it. Yeah, it has too. omega 3s, lots of omega 3s. Yeah. If it's farm fed, raised, Salmon, you go down to 250 or 240 units. From 950 to 250. Now, that's assuming standard farm raised where they're feeding them commercial feed that is designed to fatten them up. They want bigger fish, more poundage that they can sell, but the difference in the nutritional quality is like just they, a fraction of, of the wild caught. They did a study at Boston University on the two, and they were just shocked at the the difference in them. So we never buy farmed, ever. We just don't because they're being fed corn and GMO stuff, and you don't get the nutrients that you do. And I'm trying to think. Now, for those of you who are fish farmers who are watching this, you may say, "Yes, but I feed them differently. They're more like wild caught." More power to you. Good. That, I mean, I'd yeah, love to that, have my own fish yes. farm out here, and I would not be feeding them GMO corn. Yeah, so. you'd find we'd find ways that it was a lot more natural feed. That day. If that's the case, once again, look your farmer in the eye, and be certain that what they're doing are practices that you feel are giving the nutrition into the food, whether it's produce or some type of animal that they are growing. Be sure that what they're feeding it is something you would want to be eating yourself. Mushrooms is something that's new to me that I didn't know that vitamin D was in, but it makes sense. They're outside growing in the sun. I thought they grew kind of in the dark. Well, they're... Shh. I don't know why they, they, they have it. They, they, they have get it. a little bit of light and they... Maybe they're getting it out of the air. So By the osmosis. way, it's the egg yolk in our eggs that have the vitamin D in it. And then there's another one, which as a child... She lost it. Nope, I didn't. I got it here. Somewhere. My mama always gave us cod liver oil. We keep meaning to go buy it. I don't think it cost then what it costs now. But when I was a little girl, my brothers and sister and I, we would line up in a line. And we'd all Willingly? have our orange. Well, we didn't have a choice. We'd all have our orange like this. 
And my mama would open up the cod liver oil, pour a tablespoon in, and she'd have four spoons there, pour a tablespoon, put it in their mouth, and as soon as it was in my mouth, now, it was different in my home. <laughs> I lined up all by myself. <laughs> and I would ask my mom, can I have some cod liver oil? I love cod liver He's oil. He's weird. Well, no, I think as a child, I recognized the value of it. And it wasn't so much the taste, but my body craved what it had in it. Probably. And I knew that. Probably. And I really enjoyed it. My mom thought I was weird. You know, <laughs> You want cod liver oil? This is what I would give you if you were complaining about being too sick to go to school. Cod liver oil, a tablespoon a day, amazing omega-3s, and a really good way to get vitamin D. Is it possible to get too much omega-3? Omega-3 or vitamin D? Both. I think the answer is no. Well, I read one article that said it is possible to get too much vitamin D, and then I read another one that says go ahead and get 5,000. So verdict's still out on that one, and I'm not going either way well, until I do I, more research. I think if, if it's something that does you a lot of good, Ooh, this was your, really good. your body is going to ignore the excess. I mean, if that's all you did was vitamin D, that's a problem. But I think you can probably get large quantities and be okay with it because your body's going to get enough to process and do everything that the vitamin D needs to do and the, the omega-3s. I mean, be, most of us are too short on those things. Oh, we lack it. Most people are short on vitamin D. Most people, there's a huge shortage of it. So, so, so you need to increase this in your diet because you will get more. This is the way you get it. You don't want to take a supplement out of a pill. They say that in the research that I'm doing for calcium and for vitamin D, you want to do this. Now, some people are so bad off that they have to get 2,000. I had patients that were getting 2,000 milligram pills. And it's better that they get that than nothing. So that goes right along with my point of saying most of us for decades have had too little vitamin D and... Um, Excuse me. I'm going to lose her. Have too little of the vitamin D. I didn't realize that the heater had kicked on, so I apologize for the sound. Hopefully it's not picking it up too much. So my point is, I suspect you do less harm by having too much vitamin D and too much calcium than you do by having too little. Right. So err on the side of too much and you'll be much better off, a lot healthier. Well, if you eat a serving of this and some eggs and cheese and milk, you're going to have your... I do want to show you this though. If you um, buy orange juice and drink orange juice, you will know that it is fortified with vitamin D. That is not the way to get your, your vitamin D because we do know that buying orange juice and drinking it, you're, by a, drinking a glass of orange juice, you're getting like eight. <laughs> what are you doing? Eight oranges in one setting. The only time we drink our orange juice is when we've got a really bad cold and then we just drink small amounts. Did you enjoy that? <laughs> I was trying to do what you did. Mine was little, honey. <laughs> oh, I thought it was the same size. <laughs> okay, the heater's off. I know that there's a lot more. I do want to say this one more thing. On the salmon that is farm-raised, the other thing they found was there was such a much more huge amount, that sounds so grammatically wrong, um, of, Very omega, scientific. of omega 6. And so it buried your omega 3 because, because of the way it was. What, what they're what fed they're puts eating. a lot more fat, which is going to have a lot more of the omega 6. Yeah. And if they're on a corn diet, that's going to put the omega 6 in there. We'd like to just bring you up to date on a little things that we did today. <laughs> this is one of those horrid days <laughs> we've we've lived in several states we've gotten driver's licenses in several states now i remember back 15 20 years ago about anywhere you went getting the driver's license was an ordeal um, but i also know that in the in the intervening time that in many states they've been able to streamline the process cut out a lot of the unnecessary requirements and methodologies and not so in Nevada. At least not this part of Nevada. <laughs>
Oh, two my. trips, two trips to get our, our license. And that's today. after researching for two days to make sure that we had everything. <laughs> And sitting with a number and waiting for 10 to 13 people before us both times. But we now have Nevada driver's license and we now have insurance in Nevada. Yeah. We still have to get the car done. We're almost ready to do that. And the trailer. But we are becoming Nevada residents. So yes. That's good. <laughs> Mostly because I want to be able to get a local fishing license. I know. <laughs> so I can go catch our own wild caught fish. We have a lake real close to us. Multiples that Honey, are within a short that distance. That lake is not going to have They're not going to have salmon, but it's going to have fish. <laughs> okay. We hope that you... Oh, we'd just like to tell you that if you haven't gone to our YouTube page and looked at our home page, we put on a brand new collage yeah. you can't see it all you can see more of it on our hardiness approach facebook page and if you, if you look at it with a tv on our hardiness approach page not the fa the facebook's kind of crimps it down but our, our normal website if you look at it with the tv you'll see the whole thing if you look at it with your computer you'll see most of it if you look at it with a phone you'll see a little bit of it <laughs> Anyway, it was lots of fun to put this collage together of the last three or four years. Had me walking down memory lane. It, you know, I had to pause on some of them and think. I know. It was. We yeah. looked at our stuff from Oregon, and I we just I mean it hit us more than was there. It's green there. It's green there. <laughs> um, so we are now putting out videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, and I'm just going to tell you what we're doing. We're doing a recipe one day. So to, Fridays will be a, a recipe. And the reason we haven't done it yet is we didn't have our stuff to do it. So we're getting there. We're getting there. there. We're getting there. Um, today that you're seeing, Thursday, will be a grow, grow Your Supplement Day. And Tuesdays, I know I'm going backwards in the week. Tuesdays is our gardening day, which you saw with the BCS when we were putting it together. Yes. The BCS versus the Broad Fork. What we will be doing is instead of Jim doing his exercises on regenerate, don't degenerate, after our normal video on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, he will be doing, we will be doing, a segment of exercise. We can't start it yet because we have to do it outside and it won't stop raining. <laughs> For those people that do not want to exercise, they just stop the video then. For those people that do, they will be exercised. Actually, to I'm going to suggest to those of you who don't want to exercise, just reconsider your position. You need <laughs> it. Now, if you're already exercising, okay, you have something better going on, okay. But if you're not, hey, tell you what, get out of your chair. Let's let's start moving. We're excited about it. We have now, some. Now, I have a question for you. This is getting really long. Yeah, we didn't do any recipes today. We just talked about no, food. No, this isn't recipes. This is food day. This oh, okay. is supplement day. Oh, supplement. But it's grow your own supplement. Yeah. Well, so you you grow these. Okay. okay. These are homegrown. There you go. If you have a cow or a goat, you get to grow this. You get to make your cheese. And I did talk about catching your own fish. Yes. You can grow your own mushrooms. Yes. And if you can't do that, find somebody who is doing as close to that as you possibly can to acquire it. I guess that's right. what we're saying, right? Not every nutrient that we're going to be talking about is something that grows out of the ground. But calcium grows right here. We have some exciting things coming up, and we're excited to revamp and re... re Invigorate. Um, yes. That's the word she was looking That's for. That's the word I was looking for. And be able to take you along with us. So thank you for joining with us. Subscribe if you're new to our channel. And the newsletter will be coming out on Fridays now from again. So subscribe to our newsletter at hardinessapproach.com. See you later. Hey, thanks for watching. See you on Friday. Bye-bye.